Hey everyone, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. You guys, if you're new, welcome. For not welcome back, I love y'all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Commenting, liking, and subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non free ways are Patreon and smashing that super thanks button down below. Also, uh, join a member. Become become a member and join Patreon. Also, Raythex at ETH domain name. So we'll start off with Omi, and Omi currently less than seven hundred thousand dollars in volume over the last twenty four hours. However, comma we are up about three point one percent to triple zero six four. So shout out to Omi for doing that. I still haven't gotten any the any yet uh, as a, since the last buying. I should be able to get some tomorrow when I get paid. I'll be able to try to get another million. I'm hope hoping Omi goes down a little bit just so I can get it a little bit cheaper. Uh, and again, I am buying people's OMI off of the VV app if you are looking for exit liquidity, if you're worried about bridging, because again, some people do make mistakes. If you go and you try to send it without bridging, you are going to lose the OMI. Uh, it may or may not uh, show back up depending on where you send it to. Anyway, moving on. VV had an update yesterday after David and Dan was on VV Magic Stream. I'll get into that in a minute. So EV Digital Collectibles has MCP update. MCP beta will be down for maintenance for 24 hours starting today at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it is about that time as of the filming of this video. I, I don't, I may have something to do with Luke. I don't know, the Luke, speaking of Luke, uh, Vivi made about $300,000 and about once, I think $309,000 if I'm doing my math correct, and, and it always is, that's an Iron Man reference, uh, in about one second, so that sold out. Again, this is, you, you have so many different, uh, popular characters in Star Wars, and you know, some of the ones like, Oh, hey, Boba Fett, we have him. Baby uh, Baby Yoda we don't have yet. We don't have Ahsoka yet. Although we do have uh, the Yoda lightsabers. We don't have Yoda yet. We have the Yoda lightsabers. Uh, we have the Ahsoka lightsabers. Uh, and like I said, we don't have Baby Yoda yet. But I feel like all these things might be coming, especially during the Platinum moments. Baby Yoda is a Platinum moment, so I'm really excited to see that. Or Grogu, if you haven't seen it. Anyway, um, if we're going with the most popular character of all time in Star Wars, Luke is definitely up there. Again, he is the most powerful Force user, at least of this era. You do have some old school Sith Lords from the ages before the New Republic that are really dope and really cool, but again, they're super old school. Nobody really knows who they are. They haven't really been in any canon yet. Uh, so we will, uh, it doesn't make any surprises that he sold out in, for I, the, the amounts that he has, uh, you know, there's less than like what, 6,000 of them, 5,000 of them. It's it's super scarce, super long term. Everyone's gonna want this, and I know some people are kind of saying, "Oh, yeah, but his, you know, he doesn't really look that good." Again, he didn't look that good in the actual screenshot that they used for the uh, VV blog post article. But again, in the actual um, app, he he looks pretty fine. He looks okay. But if nobody really remembers, if you if anyone's taken a look at the Luke Skywalker's collectibles, like the first action figure from way back in the day, he looks pretty heckin' bad. So again, at the end of the day, nobody really cares. It's just the first one that's on the blockchain, first collectible ever made. Uh, that always stands the test of time. Anyway, moving on. Uh, David did mention uh, yesterday on VV Magic Stream that a whale in her 60s is in Australia, and he happens to do like that whale, and that they hope to have a con in Australia one day as well. Figure that'd be pretty fun. And towards the end of the stream, uh, Sanjay Baskaran, or Mr. MC1, was over on the stream, and he was talking about uh, <clears throat> Rudy and Tina's most recent set collection. They had the entire Miles Morales set, but they didn't just have it. They had a sub-100 Miles Morales set, but it wasn't just a sub-100. It was a sub-50. They had number 46. I think that's worth about $30,000, just because you have they are sub-50s. They are all completed in a set, each one of them number 46. I don't, I, that is the lowest set, set completed, the lowest min set for that particular collectible. Super, super scarce. Uh, yeah, I, I believe that'd be $30,000, give or take. But anyway, Mr. MC1 goes and says, oh, wait until we have offers. You have Mr. Rolex is going to make you a bunch of offers on this. Uh, and then David kind of soft confirmed that. as like, haha, yeah. As he was a little nervous that he didn't want to necessarily confirm it, but maybe he didn't want to lie and say like, no, that's not coming. So we will have offers at some point. I am super excited for that. I'm not 100% sure how they'll get around the uh, money laundering thing. Because again, if let's say Dashi was a collectible and Dashi was worth $100,000, I was like, you know what you want to do? Um, you can go and buy Dashi. You can make an offer for a dollar. Just pay me $93,000 in USDC, in crypto, in whatever. <coughs> I think I just died. Uh, anyway, and, and then people could do that. So again, I'm not 100% sure why they're, uh, how they're going to get around that money laundering issue. Maybe they just hold it to KYC people, which would make sense anyway. You're not allowed to <coughs> not allowed to sell or cash out unless you're KYC. But again, 
you should be able over the next couple months to be able to buy anything. Like you can just set up an account, not after KYC, and then go and buy stuff. That would be really great. I have one of the whales that I'm waiting on uh, that is all about this. He only has a couple million Omi at this point, just because it's hard to do. But the for the VV app, you, right now you have to KYC. He's like, I'm not doing that. I was like, that's fair. Uh, and again, he's not buying to sell. He's a big collector. He's, so he's not really worried about KYC for selling. He just doesn't want to go through all the thing. And again, he is a little bit older. Anyway, moving on. Update from Brock McBlockchain. It's like, hey everyone, casual reminder. Today is the swim up. Twitter spaces. I'll be going over a little announcement. Then a tiny, tiny mystery box reveal. Can't wait to chat with you all. It's been far too long. Uh, so that'll be today. I think that's at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Might be 7. I don't know. I'll go and ask Brock. <laughs> Sorry. So we have a couple of things that I have noticed. The Shuri Black Panther, that secret rare. Uh, the floor of that is $200. And then the floor of the sub 100s is $299. So just some things that I think was... A little undervalued. I'll go through a couple of those things. Uh, one of the other things that I thought was a little undervalued, you do have uh, Ajax. So she is a Eternals in a Marvel Mighties, and even those Marvel Mighties, which a lot of people are really up and positive on, Eternals, maybe not so much. Again, her character was okay in the uh, in the movie, but she was played by Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek is just Bay. She has been Bay for like 30 years. She looks amazing. Uh, so people might want her for just that. But the floor of her is 21. So the sub 100s of her should be, I don't know, let's say closer towards 100, and the sub 50s should be much beyond that, but the, uh, you have a sub 50 of her, number 47, number 80, at 88 gems. I think that is pretty undervalued, in my opinion. Another one you have is Icarus, who is like $5 on the floor, his sub 100, the cheapest one is $40. I think that's kind of worth it if you're looking to stack sub 100s of those. Say that Mr. M Mr. Fantastic, the sub, uh, he's like, X amount of dollars, like seven, eight dollars, uh, for his Marvel Mighty. But again, if you take a look at his uh, number sixty-five, it's selling for one twenty-nine. So that's a little bit over what I would normally like to pay. But again, he is Mister Fantastic. He is one of the most popular characters in Marvel, even if the younger people might not necessarily know who he is a hundred percent, just because he hasn't really been in any movies yet. He he was in uh in Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness but again you couldn't really see or get to know him he was on screen for really not that long uh, another one I see is John F. Walker John F. Walker nobody really liked in that show I actually did a video on him uh on on a certain episode of uh Bucky and uh Bucky and Falcon and it was it was wild anyway nobody really likes him but he is part of the Thunderbolt and you can get a sub 100 of him you can actually get a sub 50 of him uh, number 46 for $66. I think that is pretty okay. And then Red Skull, you have, uh, you have the first Marvel, the first vi villain Marvel Mighty. You can get a sub 100 of him for $250. And if you want, you could actually get a sub 41 of him. He's the only Marvel Mighty that you can get a sub, uh, sub 41 on. Number 39, number 40. Number 40 is listed at $25,000, so I, I don't think that's worth it. We have Beta Ray Bill, who's $150 at his floor, but you can get a sub-100 for $199. That's pretty good. Loki, his floor is, I think, like $8 or $9, but you can get a sub-100 for $109. Normally, I don't like to pay 10 x but again, there's so many of him. I think there's like 8,000 of him, and, you know, there's only 59 sub-100, so, you know, kind of take your pick. The last one I have is Valkyrie. Now, Valkyrie isn't really too well-known. She was really good in, Th in Thor Ragnarok, and then she played a little bit of a cameo in Thor Love and Thunder as the king or the new king of uh, of Asgard. And it wasn't like one of those like super woke things that Disney was doing. Oh, let's make a woman king. She just happened to be the best warrior at the time in a time where Thor had kind of left and just, you know, gotten really, gotten really chunky. So she was king over in actually a couple of, several movies now. It was, But it wasn't like a super woke thing. It wasn't like the Kim Possible thing where if you saw one of those fight scenes, you have the main villain go, all right, henchmen, attack. And then Kim Possible going, hench, women, attack. And it was like really cringy. It was just one of those things that happened to make sense for the story. Anyway, you can get a sub-50 of her, number 46, for 99 gems. And moving on. I think that's it for the Marvel Mighties. Oh, I forgot this update from David saying that he got an email saying marketing can start. And then they might announce it later. They didn't announce that yesterday, so they might announce that sometime today. But again, because a lot is going on, they did have that Star Wars drop, which sold out in one second, which is absolutely bananas. They do have a Tarzan drop, dropping later. It is the last issue in that Tarzan story arc. I think it's like four edition. Uh, yeah, four four comic editions in this run, and this is the last one. So some people who are excited about that will want to complete it. And they do have Thrawn number one coming out, which a lot of people are super excited. That is tomorrow. 
Uh, but speaking of comics, they did have the Guardians of the Galaxy yesterday, which didn't make a ton. It made about $35,000, but more than, uh, more than I was expecting, honestly, just because a lot of people are saving gems for this Luke. Let's just go to the, uh, I'm going to go to the market right now and see what everyone's uh, selling and buying these for. I bet you it's going to be wild. The rare is actually pretty much just at retail at $55. Retail is $60, so it's going to the secondary for $55. And this is the one that is animated, so and it does have sound. So you're probably going to want the number 41 is going for 10 k <laughs> um, But again, at $55, being, this being a rare, I would expect a sub-100 to go for $300-ish. And you have a number 81 that's going for $299. I think that makes sense. Uh, and then of the sub-50s, none are really worth it. Uh, and I'm not sure if you'll have a 1977. Again, that's just the year that it came out. Uh, not, not, the, uh, not the movie uh, Empire Strikes Back. Empire was 1980. And I know this is a Return of the Jedi set, but the thing that he says, uh, saying, you'll find that I'm full of surprises, is actually from Empire Strikes Back. So that is the... Uh, the 1980 might be really good with this. The 1977, uh, obviously the year that Star Wars A New Hope came out. And then I think 1983 was the year that uh, Return of the Jedi came out. So all of these could be really good. You have a 1983 that's listed for $4,500. So I don't... Um, I don't think that's going to go anywhere anytime soon. But again, that's just the rare. The ultra rare is looking at uh, $95 for the floor. And if you take a look at the sub 100s, my lordy, they're going for thousands. Um, you can get a number 64 for $250, a number 95 for $225. I think that one is probably worth it. Uh, and I think I think $225 is probably worth it. Again, that's just my opinion, just because you have uh, it's less than 4x the uh, the price of the floor. And this one you obviously cannot get a 1977 or 83 or 80 just because there's so few of them. There's actually only 925, which means 835 because of the way that uh, they take the first 90. And the secret rare is 510 doll hairs. So that 510 doll hairs uh, at the floor, and you could you can get a number 46 for 1200. And I don't know what this does long term, but if you can get the floor is 500. And you can get a sub-100 for $800. Uh, you know, that's that's less than, uh, that's about 1.675x the floor. And then you have a, a secret rare sub-50, which should be an additional multiplier on top of that. You can get it for just 50 cents higher, or I'm not, 50% higher uh, at 1,200. So yeah, I think there's some things to be had here. And again, just because there are so few of these, just because there are, there are even less of these than the Ultra Rare, uh, this one has 519 of them, and you have, so that'd be 629. So again, these are super scarce. Um, whoever got one, congrats. And that's it for me. Everyone comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. Praise Vivi. All right, bye guys. Praise Dashi. Woof.